Got a 2012 Case IH Early Riser 1240 Planner. It is a 12 row, 30 inch, 23 row, 15 inch. Bulk fill, pneumatic downforce, hydraulic drive, there's four sections, and there's a shaft running through each section, chain drive to the meters. I need to replace a couple of these bearings on the shaft. I think there was two of them that were out. I need to replace those. The row cleaners will not be sold with it. We're gonna keep them unless you want to work out a deal. But we'll probably keep them. It's got these Yetter style closing wheels. And been keeping up with the bearings on them started replacing some of these bearings in here been trying to keep up with those that one's not bad but where was it that one could probably be done but keeping up with those bearings and I've replaced a couple of these wheels when they get wore down that's a fairly new one right there. <clears throat> it's got the case, advanced seed meter, meters on it. They do pretty good. Can't complain. I think the bean ones are 80 hole and the corn ones are 24 holes that's what came with the planter when we bought it we bought it in 2017 it's a 2012 it was a one owner so we are the second owner it had around 2,000 acres on it when we bought it and we've probably put no more than 500 a year this 17 18 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, the eighth year we've had it. So maybe 4,000 acres on it. So it's probably got 6,000 acres on it or so total. And we put new opener blades on it in 2020. They're still in good shape. I'll probably have to adjust them with the washer if we do keep it for next season. Some of them, maybe not, but we replaced the openers, all of them in 2020. Gauge wheels, haven't had to do anything to them. We replaced these wheels when they get worn down and the bearings when they go out in here. And I started replacing some of these. They were starting to wear out. These seed shoes. Uh, they could probably re be replaced. You see the, there's some wear on them all. So they probably need replaced before next spring. These closing wheels are all good from what I've seen. I haven't touched them either. They've been good. Um, the meter. 
papers, the desks we haven't replaced, everything's seems to be in pretty good shape. Unless you'd want to use a different size hole meter or disc, different size disc on those meters. Haven't touched the chains. I like to say right there. That one's out. I think there's two that I noticed need to be replaced. It's probably throwing off the meters, which is why the monitor was yapping, would be my guess. So we'll get them replaced here. Um, row markers have been fine. It's got row markers on it. We've replaced a couple hydraulic lines on it as the years go. Replace the filter in 22. Hydraulic filter. I replaced a sensor, air pressure sensor. Up on the air tanks up there one year and replaced a vacuum sensor on the one side to one year. And throughout the years I've been replacing these sleeves, gaskets for the vacuum system as they tear and wear out. I think I've pretty well rebuilt, rebuilt the whole Placed them all by now. So they're in pretty decent shape. Got a couple lines like that that leak out a little bit. They could be replaced or you could keep running them until they finally give out and start leaking bad. Haven't had to do anything to the air bags or the air lines. That's been good. I replaced one seed sensor the first or second year we had it, but all of them have been pretty good. I like to brush them out before each season or when I'm switching, me switching discs, I like to brush those uh, seed sensors off. I replaced this, it's a pressure cutoff switch relief valve because the old one was, uh, it was bleeding off when before it had built up enough pressure and it wasn't letting me build up enough downforce on it. So replaced that and replaced this. Thought I had it marked. One of these sensors, replace one of them because it wasn't reading the compressor pressure on the monitor. Bulk fill doors are in pretty good shape. There is a little crack. Where is it at? I like to leave these loose when we're not using it. No need to hold pressure on it when we're not using it. I thought there was a little crack on one of these. Maybe right there. Nothing bad. Nothing to notice vacuum being lost. But those are in good shape. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else we've done to it. It's been a good planter. Just a couple little things here and there. But we're all no-till, so it's set up for no-till conditions. I think we replaced an O-ring on one of these boxes one time it was leaking some o-ring behind one of these fittings got a little leak in one of them lines not too worried about it until it starts really leaking out I've replaced this sensor right here. That's your, it shuts the compressor off when it's built up enough pressure. I've replaced that twice. I'm thinking about taking that out after the end of each season. And, cause it, water builds up in there or something and it starts corroding the end of it and then it doesn't read right. So I'm thinking about taking that out after each season and covering that top up so nothing gets in there. And there's a filter in there you blow out and blow out this cooling, those cooling fins whenever they need be, but the fan works. It cuts on when it gets up to temperature. It's got PTO to run the one of the vacuums and it's got a hydraulic reservoir tank there got to have at least three remotes and you got to have a decent tractor with decent hydraulics to run it this is a 315 magnum it's got plenty of power Plenty of juice for it. But if you were to run a different type of tractor, or I bet a 200 horsepower tractor might be able to pull it. I'm not 100% sure. I think all those specs are on the Case IH's website. But this 315, it's got plenty of power to pull it. I think I replaced, yeah, I replaced one of those uh, sensors in the tank, which isn't a big deal. It just tells you when your tank's getting low on seed. Replace one of them. Got clean outdoors on each tank. And the wings. Flex, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, right in the middle of the sixth unit in. And there's very little grease circs on this planter. The pivot points, there's a couple up in there. And the markers and these wheels out here. Very little grease cirques on this planter, and that's why I like the case planter. One of the reasons I like the case planter. One of the many reasons I like the case planter. Because they pull their gauge wheels, so there's no greasers on the gauge wheels. I guess there's greasers on these, these uh, row cleaners, but that's, that's Yetter, that's an add-on. And it's not a big deal. Put a couple pumps in there every now and then. No other greasers on the row unit. And this is how you adjust your depth. You pull that out and twist it. Depending on what depth you want it at. Soybean meters are in there now. Discs.
bei ihr. Pretty decent shape planner. I mean, it's pretty good shape. Not a terrible amount of acres on it. I've kept up with the maintenance. Asking price is 80,000. Or make us an offer. We're in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Got 24 more acres to do with it this year. And like I say, I'm gonna replace a couple of them bearings and then put it up for sale. Did have to replace a couple of these doors. They crack right here over time. And they won't hold their seal and beans will come out. But you can notice, if you notice the cracks soon enough, you just go ahead and replace that door and clip as a kit. One of these needs to be replaced. Look at that job. It worked. When we were out in the field and didn't have any extras, I need to replace that one though. And I think these might be the heavy duty springs. I'm not sure. They may be the heavy duty springs. And then these are Yetter. Yetter closing wheels, the spiked wheels. But yep. Yeah. Holler if you got any questions or if you're interested. It's a nice planner. You can do a good bit with it. It's complex, but it's also simple. It's got four section shutoffs. So in corn, you can shut off every three rows when it comes to the headlands or the point rows. And beans every five or six, depending on how many, how often the sections are split up because there's four sections in them. I think one of them, the sections is every five, five, uh, units and then six and then seven and then maybe another five or something like that but you can change your your uh population from the cab since it's hydraulic drive you can do a lot of stuff with the pro 700 monitor with this planner Change your vacuum settings, bulk fill setting. The only thing you have to change out here on the row unit is the depth. And if you want to change your row cleaners. And you can adjust the, the tension, spring tension on these closing wheels. I got them pretty heavy since we're in no-till. I think I have them all the way up. And then these are stoppers for when you uh, store it. Put, it, put, put them in here. So it doesn't leak down. I've never had it leak down, but just in case, put them in there for storage. There's another greaser. And then the bar in here, that bar right there, you pull out and that lets you lift the splitter row units. You put it right on here and then you drop the planter down so you can actually lift it up. But drop the planter down and then put that bar on there and then lift the row unit up and it'll lock itself up there for when you want to plant corn on 30 inch or beans on 30 inch. So every other row unit lifts up. 
and then when you want to drop it back down you just that piece will be up in there when you want to drop it down you put that bar on it and then just pull down on it and it drops down it's pretty simple doesn't take long and then when you switch from uh, corn to beans you just change your singulator singulator setting on the meter which is up in there you change your disc out clean your meter out change your depth if you want and then this is a block off for your vacuum hose when you're planting corn and then there's a that thing on the meter you squeeze it together so it doesn't turn the meter the chains will turn but the meter won't when you're planting every other you know corn on 30 inch and then you'll put a block off there's a got them in the shop there's a block off you put right there so it doesn't shoot seed out to the every other meter and then there's a knob that turns right there there's a knob that you turn so that you don't send any air to those meters as well for the airbags and then change your markers marker distance if you want if you use markers i like using them on the end rows and that's about it change all your settings on your monitor and pretty simple to switch from corn to beans but yeah let me know if you got any questions it's a 2012 Case IH 1240 early riser planner. 12 row, 12 row, 30 inch, 23 row, 15 inch. Bulk fill, pneumatic downforce. Ready for no till or conventional till.